Welcome into the I-80 Boys College Football Show. Chris, week four, Illinois versus Nebraska, the preview video. Uh, it's great to be a Husker fan, right? Absolutely. I know you're going to get to them here in a bit, and I'll start us off. I'm going to talk about Illinois here. Uh, look, Illinois is, I mean, they're off to a, hard, a hot start just like Nebraska is so far. I mean, they come in. Uh, this is a major game. I mean, both these teams, top 25, Big Ten play starting. I mean, this is, you know, like Ric Flair saying, uh, you know, I can't even remember what Ric Flair would say at this point, but you can fill in the blanks, right? Uh, what, whatever Ric Flair would say. This is a pr pretty hyped type matchup here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've lost it. I blanked when I was trying to say it. Okay. Look, offensively for Brett Bielema uh, in the line, I mean, we know Luke Altmyer. I mean, he's been pretty solid this year. I thought last year he was going to be a big improvement for him. Kind of had some growing pains, I thought. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, look, he's already had – he already has over 650 yards, Chris, and six touchdowns to no interceptions coming into this. He's balled out. His completion percentage, my favorite number, 69%. Dude's, dude's freaking lighting it up out there. Look, he's leaned on Pat Bryant and Zachariah Franklin in the past game. I mean, they have a combined 430 yards and four touchdowns so far. Those are going to be the guys he's going to want to get the football to. Uh, again, you know, the running game to me is going to be led by Caden uh, Fagan. You know, he's had 175 yards and three touchdowns. So uh, look at that. Illinois has been pretty middle of the road just in looking at this in terms of their total offense, right? When you look at how everybody else stacks up through three weeks in the season. Uh, so I think they're actually, they're, they're somewhat balanced there, right? I mean, there's some balance there. They kind of tried to sped the ball around and kind of do some things. I like that. Um, to me, Chris, look, they need to be able to control the clock, right? And they need to keep Altmaier upright in order to have a shot in this one. Nebraska has a tough defense. You're going to talk about that here in a minute. This is one of those things where Illinois really has to uh, play a clean game in this one. And if they play up to the task, I'm going to like their shots. Here's the thing. I'll give you a couple more stats about their defense here. We'll talk about that. On the defense side of the ball, Illinois has shined. They rank 33rd in total defense so far. Uh, they also rank 59th in terms of rushing yards allowed. And they're going to need to be, uh, to me, they're going to need to be a little bit better than that going up against Nebraska. I mean, you know, the, the Huskers are going to want to try to establish the run, I would imagine, in this one. So, to me, on defense, uh, the guys to look out for is Gabe Akes, Dennis Briggs, and Matthew Bailey. I think overall, just overall in the defense, Illinois needs to limit Nebraska's run game and play decent coverage to, and force Rayola to beat them in this one. So uh, with that, Chris, I'll turn it right over to you. Kind of tell me a little bit more about the, the Cornhuskers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, like you said, we're ranked 3-0. and um, You know, we beat UTEP week one, knocked off Colorado at home 28-10. to And then last week we played Northern Iowa, uh, won that game 34-3. to Nebraska so far, as, as the season's gone on, I mean, we've done what we needed to do. This will be our biggest test here with Illinois. Um, let's talk a little bit about Dylan Riola. He's looked really good, man. He has. Um, I'm not trying to get too high on him. There's a lot of, a lot of Heisman talk going on right now, but he's had a really good season. I've been very impressed with him. He's 59 Christian of 80 on the year with 670 yards passing, 73.8% completion percentage, which is really good for a true freshman, obviously. He's got five touchdowns and the one pick. Um, he's Like I said, he's looked good. There's not much more to add there. I don't want to sit here and, and talk about you know Dylan for the entirety of the show. Um, you, you spoke about it. The rushing game in Nebraska has been pretty impressive this year. This is something I wanted to see them do this offseason. Dante Dowdell, man, this kid um, is pretty much the clear number one now, and for good reason. He's got 31 carries on the year, 184 yards, and uh, that's six yards per carry, so pretty good there. And he's also got three touchdowns. Now, we do have kind of a running back by committee. We got Emmett Johnson out there, Ramir Johnson. These guys have both uh, produced pretty well this year as well. Um, I think more than anything, this is the thing I've, about Nebraska's offense, that's, it, which is I think this this question's been answered, the wide receiver room this year. Um, Isaiah Nayer is broke out, man. This kid is really good. He's the transfer from Texas. Um, he's got 12 catches for 107, or excuse me, 187 yards on the year, two touchdowns. Jamal Banks, another freshman out there. Um, he, he's been awesome. He's our deep threat. He's got seven catches for 76 yards and the one touchdown as well. So offensively, Nebraska's doing really well. They're up there in – probably top 30, 40 in every category offensively so far this year. But again, like I said, we're going to be playing an Illinois team that's that's pretty uh, pretty stout on defense. So we're going to find out where they stack up. 
Defensively for the Huskers, look, they're picking up where they left off last year. They're eighth in the country in points allowed with 6.7 points per game. Uh, top 15 in rushing yards allowed with just under 70. And then the, this is a stat that I love, something I used to harp on the Huskers a lot about. They're 20th in the country, Christian, in sacks. They got nine of them so far. A majority of those came in the Colorado game, but uh, pretty good nonetheless. Now, I want to add this before I get into my prediction. If anybody watched the the Northern Iowa game last week, uh, there was a little bit of a, a lingering issue during that game. Northern Iowa is an old school um, coached and just a football team as a whole. They like to run the ball. Their quarterback was actually pretty athletic. They pushed Nebraska's defensive front seven around a little bit in that game, um, especially between the 20s. Once they got down inside the red zone, um, Nebraska buckled it down. But I'm a little worried, Christian. I'm a little worried about that. I mean, you know, Ty Robinson kind of they, they did a hell of a job blocking him and, and getting him out of the road. I was actually impressed by Northern Iowa. I really was. Um, like I said, you look at the score. They only scored three points. But uh, if they could have thrown the ball or been a little more efficient inside the red zone, they probably would have had a couple touchdowns. There. They chewed up a lot of clock in that game as well. So they did keep Nebraska's offense off the field. So um, hats off Northern uh, Iowa for that. As far as my prediction goes in this game, Christian, thought about it all weekend. I think it's going to be a relatively a low-scoring game. You know Brett Bielema led teams. And mind you guys, if you don't know this, he used to coach at Wisconsin. Um, Nebraska has won one time, I think, against Wisconsin since they joined the Big Ten in 2011. He was there for some of that time. Nebraska struggled. So he knows Nebraska. He knows what they're going to do. But I will say this. I have Illinois at 17 points. I got Nebraska at 27. I do think this game will be close at halftime. Um, I think it'll be a very physical game. I think they're going to want to run the football. Obviously, we are too. But I, I, as a whole, though, I think Nebraska's got a little bit better defensive unit, and I think we definitely got the better quarterback in this one. Nothing against Luke Altmyer, but I think Dylan Raiola is going to make some big plays downfield. So uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts, Christian. Yeah, I've got it a little closer than that. I mean, I've got Illinois 21, Nebraska 28. I think it's like you said, I mean, it's it's going to be a closer game. Could it be more of a shootout? Absolutely. Uh, again, the thing about Nebraska, and you touched on it, Chris, Nebraska's come out and they've had these hot starts in the last couple of games, and then they've kind of faded down the stretch there. They've gotten a little too conservative, right? Uh, and I'm a Falcons fan talking about a little bit too conservative here, right? So you want to make sure that you eventually that might come back to bite you, all right? I, I mean, again, you want to be able to kind of continue to keep your foot on the gas and so uh, just not be so conservative with the play calling there. I do think Nebraska will handle business here. I do think Illinois is going to give them all they can handle going into this one. Uh, so, yeah, 